Good evening, this is Tom Marshall speaking. I can't sing and I'm very self-conscious about that. And I can't read music and I can't write music. But I've written a little jingle here on the Wilmington and Western Railroad and possibly some musical group can do something with it. The idea came to mind as a result of hearing the Blue Water Line as sung by the Brothers Four. Here it is first. Council met last week, the vote was four to three, to burn the hometown depot down and build a factory. Now here's the brother one with the Red Clay Valley line. Oh, brother. Wilmington and Western, Wilmington and Western, the Red Clay Valley line. Gonna ride out to Hokesson on the Red Clay Valley line. We take off from Old Green Bank on a bright and sunny day. McGargle's mill is on the left and here we'd like to stay. But 92 is puffin' hard, her whistle starts to whine. She's ready for the journey on the Red Clay Valley line. Wilmington and Western, Wilmington and Western, the Red Clay Valley line. Gonna ride out to Hokesson on the Red Clay Valley line. It seems that in this valley were great historic things. Ground for this line was broken next to Brandywine Springs. And then came Fell's old spice mill of little Falkland town, and the mill of Oliver Evans, inventor of renown. Wilmington and Western, Wilmington and Western, the Red Clay Valley line. Gonna ride out to Hokesson on the Red Clay Valley line. Around the bend at Ashland, a thriving town once stood. George Pusey's mill, like most of them, entirely built of wood. The railroad's tank was up the line to keep the water in. And then we come to Auburn, which for years has been your glen. Wilmington and Western, Wilmington and Western, the Red Clay Valley line. Gonna ride out to Hokesson on the Red Clay Valley line. Amen.